Hello friends, in this tutorial we will learn how to create variables in JavaScript. So the first question that comes to my mind is what is a variable? A variable is a named memory location which stores the data or in simple words we can say that variables are used to store data in the program. Okay, so let's get started. So it starts with the where keyword. Okay, it is a keyword reserved keyword and it, it is followed by the variable name then the assignment operator and on the right hand side of the assignment operator there is the value so a, a variable holds a single value okay always remember so this is the generalized syntax of how we declare a variable and store a value in that variable okay so let's take an example i'm going to create a variable called num and i'm going to store in this 23 okay so if i console log num and save it and on the screen if i press f12 key so here it is it says the num is storing 23 okay so this is a numeric value even if I want to store a string and I create a variable str this is an example and console log str okay so here it is so this is how we store string okay now there are some rules that we should keep in our mind while dealing with variables okay what are those rules here these are five rules okay so the first rule says that variable name must start with alphabet or underscore we have already followed this rule in this example so if i say one num obviously it, it won't work okay so the variable name must start with either an alphabet or an underscore okay so if i change it to 20 and save it yes it works so this is what our rule one says so let's move to our rule two it says that variable name must not be a keyword since i said that where is a keyword so there are some predefined words uh, in javascript which we cannot use them to declare variable okay so if i say uh, i'm going to use switch so switch is a keyword okay so it won't work it will display an error so let's change it to num okay so we have seen that we cannot use the keyword as a variable name okay now let's move to our third rule and it says that variable name must not contain the white space okay so let's change the name and change the value and here again i'm updating okay so here i have changed the num to prime space number and change also change the value to 11 okay so now you can see it is uh, displaying an error if i save it it says that unexpected identifier so what is the problem here the variable name has white space a sim a single space okay so a variable name cannot contain white space so what is the solution so the solution is the fourth rule okay so if there are two or more words since we are using two words prime number so uh, we can we have two solution either we can use this underscore like this okay it works so uh, or we can write the variable name in camel case okay so this also works so if i change it to 13 yes it works okay so 
this is the fourth rule now the fifth rule is not mandatory but it is very useful it is advisable that the variable name should be meaningful why let me take an example if I say I'm going to store another prime number and I declare a variable n and store 11 in it and I console block okay so it is storing no problem but you know that only you know that this is a prime number if I show this program to other programmer then they will say that it's just a number but this is a prime number because it says the name says that it is a prime number so it will create a lot of confusion okay or if I change it to prime number 2 okay now if I display this program to other programmers they will simply say that these two are two prime numbers okay so uh, it increases the readability of the program so pro it is always advisable it's not mandatory like I declared that initially n so it is not mandatory but it is always advisable that variable name should be meaningful so this is how we create variables in JavaScript since uh, variable the value in the variable may or may not change during the execution of a program so if I say that prime number 2 equals to if I say 7 okay and console log prime number 2 then you can see now it is 7 okay so this is how we create variables in JavaScript thank you so much for watching this tutorial